How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC League discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a ton of evidence for a character that lots of people really want to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate being Waluigi. However guys, as always and I cannot stress this enough, just because Waluigi is a character that a lot of people really want to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and has not been deconfirmed by Sabi quite yet, and also has a lot of evidence supporting him being the final character on the first fighter's pass, that does not mean that Waluigi is ever going to be assisted from an assist trophy, so make sure you guys take this with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. Unfortunately guys, I do not have a link to the original post, as all this information was sent in to me by one of my subscribers, so everything that you guys are going to need to see is going to be up on screen. And now guys, with all of that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, all this information was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server, so if you guys haven't already joined up, you can find a link to my Discord, as well as links to all of my social media presences, such as my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon, in the description right down below, as well as the pinned comment. Also guys, all of this was compiled by this person whose Discord name is Best Waluigi Smasher, who also runs the Waluigi for Smash Twitter account, so if you guys haven't already gone ahead and followed him, I highly recommend you guys do so. You can find a link to his Twitter in the description bar down below, so that way you guys can go give him a follow and tell him that Lax sent ya. And now guys, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the evidence for Waluigi being the next Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC fighter. So guys, like I said, all this information was sent in to me by Best Waluigi Smasher on Discord, and he starts by saying, Fighter Pass number 1 was likely planned around E3, considering Joker's trailer would not be made in less than or around a month. November 2018, Paragon got a source stating that Luminary, Banjo, Undertale, and Waluigi would be coming to Smash. Undertale had reasons he came to the conclusion of a character, but it was never really stated, so the source said Sans isn't a playable character, and that matches up with the Undertale content we got, which was a Sans Me costume. Paragon released this information shortly before E3 this year of 2019. Waluigi was also claimed to be a character unlike Sans, and the interesting thing about this is Waluigi was referred to as the last character, not pack number 5. So Paragon starts by saying, Paraleak is simply Luminary, Banjo, Undertale, and Waluigi. The roots and history of the leak are long ago back as far as November of 2018, though it wasn't an official dump by me until not long before E3. I am not a leaker. This was info I shared with my community for fun. The Undertale stuff has an explanation on how I came to that conclusion and why it was wrong, but this info was shared in regards to comments about another unrelated leak, and while it technically strengthens my credibility, I don't really care about that since I'm not a leaker. People are going nuts about Waluigi for fighter number 5 because so many are already deconfirmed, and the important thing to remember is that the leak was always me sharing what I heard, and I stand by that I never lied about any of the info in it. All the above being said, the leak can be wrong. Just because you tell the truth about info you heard and a lot of other contenders are wiped from the board, that doesn't mean that Waluigi is fighter number 5. If wanted, I'll compile a history thing for Paraleak so we're all on the same page. Majas know me better than most people, so they are more biased to support Waluigi, but truth be told, only 2 or 3 of the 20 really think that Waluigi is a reality, and Waluigi can be in without being fighter number 5, leak or not. So sometime later, Fatman Onice defended Paragon when he was getting a lot of blank, and he also stated Waluigi is the king of red herrings or leak bait. This is an important note for later. So Fatman Onice says, Among insiders, Waluigi is kind of the king of red herrings for Smash. The guy is heard so often in insider circles that a vast majority of people just assume he's bait. An assist trophy being promoted? That's a big deal and obviously a topic that emotions run high with. As I've joked on here and at Papa Genos' Discord, Waluigi is the monkey's paw of Smash characters. The topic is so toxic and potentially dangerous that after Paragon's insiders pretty much decided to nope 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 themselves out the door, is he real or is he fake, 
Blank, man. I don't know, and I don't really care enough for Nintendo to come after me over it. So now, guys, we're not going to continue with what Fat Man Onice has to say because we've gone over his stuff before, so yeah. Let's go back to what Waluigi for Smasher has to say. So back to Paragon, despite Waluigi being the king of leak bait, Paragon stated this. Well, actually, no, I can say this. Out of all four I threw in the picture, Waluigi was the one I was most sure about above all of the others. This suggests that either the source supplied real evidence for Waluigi, or the source reinforced that Waluigi is indeed in several times. I think it is the prior or both, however, due to the fact that of how absurd an assist trophy upgrade would sound. Later on, Batman O'Nice said this when asked about who he thinks Pack 5 is on Papa Genos' Discord. Based on names I've heard, I guess I still stick with Waluigi or Soul. If the Nintendo of America source was wrong about Namco, still considering Nightmare, but I trust him and his info has been solid for over a year. He backs away from Waluigi as Pack 5 later on, however. Waluigi is 99.99% .99 not fighter number 5 unless wires got crossed somewhere. This is where stuff gets interesting, however. Fatman O'Nice said he doesn't think Waluigi was not leak bait for Pack 5, considering that Waluigi is the king of leak bait, and considering previously he said Waluigi was one of the likely candidates. I don't think Waluigi is leak bait for 5, but other characters have been. There's been like 5, and it's hilarious. Plant situation could suggest a free bonus character, and this would make everything else said make sense, like Waluigi beating stated to be a last character by Paragon's source, and why Fat Man O'Nice didn't think Waluigi was leak bait for pack number 5. He could have gotten stuff in the wrong order. It all fits together. Gino would also make sense as a free bonus character, you could argue, but considering Square Enix owns him, he's more likely for paid DLC. Okay, I just found this. It might be a hint to Waluigi being that plant situation. I said Waluigi wasn't 5, didn't I? Good thing there's numbers after 5. Also, I just thought of this. Batman saying Pack 5 would upset a lot of people. Jonesy would make a lot of sense for both directions, what Batman said, and logical. Jonesy would make Nintendo a lot of money, like a lot, and if they revealed him early, a lot of people just wouldn't buy the pass, as there is a large hate dump for Fortnite. I think he makes the most sense if we go off of what Fat Man said, and he also fits into the color theory. So then, we actually get some information from Papa Genos, who starts by saying, The Red Shell Me Costume. I have no idea if it's true or not, but I heard a Red Shell Me Costume leak that was boring. And now the possibility of Waluigi is growing. It could honestly be legit. I do not know, but that's what I'm going off of here. Don't know if the Red Shell Me Costume leak I heard is real or not, but suddenly it makes a bit more sense. It was from some random person, the Red Shell Me Costume leak, but there was then something else that made me think it might be legit that I'm currently discussing with Sabi, and now suddenly, a Mario rep for DLC might be hinted at with that Daisy image. Here's a blurry excerpt of the Red Shell Me Costume thing I heard if people want it. It's just a random text leak, but I thought it was boring until suddenly, Daisy made me reconsider that a Mario rep could actually happen next and this could all make sense. I read it, and yeah, the red shell is a main weapon in Mario RPG. I hear likely bogus stuff all the time. Sometimes I share it if things start to point towards something I heard. For instance, the SNK rep I had heard was someone messaging me it would be a my a month before the SNK leak. Recently I heard Red Shell Me costume will return, and I have no idea if that's true or not. These are things I hear from people who have never given me leaks before, and you just have to sit on them and see. Vergaben to know K. Roll was likely from some random person, and he was just asking another leaker, LOZ18, if they had heard the same or not. You never know which of the stuff you hear from random people could turn out true and what stuff is fake. Only the people with a history of getting stuff right do I give the status of credible source. So guys, now that we've gone over all of that, yeah, it actually seems as though with all of this evidence, there is a chance that Waluigi could be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate very soon. However guys, with all of that being said, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts about everything that we talked about in today's video in the comment sections down below. Do you guys believe that Waluigi is going to be coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, or do you guys think that Waluigi just never has a chance? Why or why not? 
Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share, and like. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.